Gems and Gemstones. Welcome to the Soul Special Station for a special report. And um, before we get going with the cards, this song came to me as I was in meditation in preparation for uh, your report. And it's by an artist named Teams. Okay, T-E-M-S. It's called Free Mind. I'm sure a lot of you R&B, um, the R&B audience is familiar with this, but the words are so deep, and I want to go ahead and try to read them to you as fast as I can. Um, you know, it starts out with the yeah, yeah, my mind, yeah, yeah, my mind. I say five in the morning. I wake up to fight for my earnings. The fear in my mind is a warning. Praying to the one you rely in. I've been wondering all day. I try to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind wouldn't leave me. I try to get by, but I'm burning. And behind my mind it runs. All of these thoughts I've had troubled me. Fighting to give up my pain. Fighting to be on my lane. My mind running to the other side. When it's time to leave this life or live my life. Then it tries to take me out. Tell you what I need right here. I really need, I really need time now. I really need, I need a free mind now. I really need, I really need mine now. I really need, I need to free my mind now. I really need, I really need time now. I really need, I really need a free mind now. I really need, I really need my mind now. Oh yeah. This is the peace that you cannot buy. Send me a love that you cannot mix. One is the joy that you cannot waste and the other one price that you cannot fix. This is the peace that you cannot buy. Find a way when you cannot see. Man will desist if you cannot pray. I need to find release. But behind my mind it runs. All these thoughts have troubled me fighting to give up my pain, fighting to be on my lane, my mind running to the other side. When it's time to live my life, then it tries to take me out. Tell you what I need right now. I really need, I really need my mind. I really need, I need to free my mind now. I really need, I really need time now. I really need, I need to free my mind now. And it goes on to set me free, freer than an open mind, farther than the eyes can handle. Freer than the ocean now, yeah, yeah, so set me free. Now I need to find release. Set me to the open sky. Now I need to free my mind. Yeah, yeah, I might be falling deep. I might be falling deep. I might be falling deep. And it goes on. You can look up those lyrics for yourself. Okay, so... I don't know, you feeling overwhelmed, okay? Uh, and I can add this to anything. It could be in terms of your career, your love life, all of the above, your money. Cause, you know, it sounds like she's kind of hitting on everything. So we're going to find out what Spiritual by Oracle message we have for you on the outset, okay? And Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope 2023 is uh, a time when you can free your mind. Maybe things will let up. I don't know. Because that's what it sounds like. She wants something to let up, you know. Because maybe it's just not coming together. We have hoarder. Okay, you need to free your mind. I tell people all the time, you can hoard thoughts and feelings. Something needs to be set free. Maybe you got too much stuff and junk in your house. You need to get rid of that stuff. Okay, and that'll definitely make you feel free. Okay, hoarder. Somebody that, you know, keeping everything to yourself, you know, all the food. You're going to keep all the food. You know, you when uh, when somebody passes, you get all the stuff. You don't share it with nobody, you know. Hoarders can sometimes, uh, they're good at holding on to other people's stuff. You know, finding reasons to keep other people's stuff. So... It sounds like a habitual problem. Let's get to the root of the source, top and bottom, please, for devil advocates and gemstones. I don't know how you identify with either one. 
maybe neither one. Maybe you say I'm Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising on the cusp. Or even if you have a strong Gemini placement. Okay? A strong Gemini placement. Meaning when we pull these um, planetary cards, it'll give some hint as to what placement you have or what planets will be moving through your house during this cycle. I don't know if this is... She kept telling me this is for this week. This is this week. Okay, so you have new as your all over uh, internal energy. All over internal energy is new. It's the 13th letter of the Greek alphabet. For the Yiddish language, it means agreement. Okay. Uh, acquiesce to something. Resignation. Okay. Um, but that could be also like resigning your thoughts. Okay. Or resignation from a job. You know, we're talking about freeing ourselves. In Vietnamese, it applies to a girl. And it can also mean pre-mortal chaos. Okay, sounds like God to me. We're talking about pre-mortal. It's like creation. Okay. Okay, so your underlying external energy is coming from plea. Okay. Containing a specified number of terms to feel. So we could be talking about documents, you know, uh, this may be, this may be about to fill a position or to fill in, you know, the lines, the, the blocks, the application, the fields, and so forth. I'm getting nuptial out of this for some reason. Nuptial. So I don't know if any of you trying to free yourself from a marriage, free me from a love that you cannot mix, that that was in the lyrics. I don't know. Let's see what's going on with this lineup again, these planets. Uh, she told me to give you three. Could also be placements in your Gemini house. If you pulled your natal birth chart, you would know. Okay. So we have Earth, number three, Earth. Number four in Mars. And we have Mars again. So we have the um, air element and the uh, cups. Swords and cups. Air and water. When I think of air and water, hmm, I think of like. Washing and drying. <laughs> uh, cooling something off. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to cool something off, the number is 344. You may be seeing that number this week, or you have seen that number this week. And there's something about meeting your match here. Because you have double Mars. Uh, which comes in 44. That's very unique. Okay. That's a high octane for ascended master number. So I know you're in a learning process, but it's, it's coming through what you would consider negativity. What you would consider uh, it's kind of like war. You know, battles. Like right here, you free your mind. You battle with your mind. You know, so those things come from experience and desires. Okay? Where to go, where to place your energy. Think about whether or not this is the romance for you. If you want to take part in this mental drama. But then you have the softer side of Mars as well, which wants to pour this energy into things that are uh, lovable or caring, uh, putting your energy into things you want to nurture. Uh, this could even, I said nuptials, this could also be about a relationship. You're thinking about where to place your talents, what will make you happy, where to place your talents, where to put your money, where you want to spend your money. You all up in your head. Okay.
And you got the power and the strength to do and to overcome. But you got to get your thought processes right. There's some things you got to release. One of them is hoarding. You're hoarding a lot of stuff. Thoughts, feelings, things, other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's get you a sight word. to the other side and that's fine with me let's get you a side word right, what's the side word source there it is wow B okay so you may be connected to a Leo and then it's got the sub word as or so to be or not to be to be worried or not to be worried to be involved or not to be involved to go and implement or subject yourself to the drama or subject yourself to a romance or a marriage of some type or some type of career to be or not to be is the motherfucking question. <laughs> That's the motherfucking question. Okay. Let's see what else that we need to start off with. So let's, let's get out some um, focus cards, some something you need to learn a major in, okay? You may need to study this. You may need to maybe have to be a focus. You may be going back to school. Then you want to major in your undergraduate degree, or you may be getting a master's. Who knows? This could apply to a lot of things. Give me three cards, please, source. Okay, put that back. Okay, anytime, soon. We're ready. So hopefully you all are, um, well, I don't know what to say about you for, for the Happy New Year, other than Happy New Year, because it seems like you got, I feel like, 2023 is a continuation of 2022. It's just, I skipped the whole damn year. Shit, I was saying happy 2024. I had to come back to the future, you know? Like, what the hell? Just not feeling 2023 for some reason. Maybe that's how you're feeling. Maybe you're just not feeling 2023. Okay, we're going to get to it at some point, y'all. Okay. You have, then I say, I, I, it's funny, when I was seeing these energies about the heating and cooling, you got HVAC, okay, HVAT, HVAC, urban development, okay, and the stock market. Wow. Those are some things that you need to be learning or majoring in. You need to be focused on these things. This looks like a, a vocation, a trade here, a technical trade, HVAC, heating and cooling, urban development or urbanology. There may be something you want to study or maybe you live in an urban area and maybe, you know, a lot of urban areas are being developed anyway. You may want to search out the history. It's interesting, the urban development history and how all of that began during the uh, Reconstruction, you know, when we was... Uh, emancipating slavery and so forth. And then you got this stock market. This is very interesting. Okay, that's coming out of this three of earths here. And it's in your element. So, um, seems like this may be a study that you definitely want to tackle. So, either you want to be knowledgeable or you don't want to be knowledgeable. Either you want to apply yourself or you don't want to apply yourself, but that's up to you. You know, if you're 18 and older, you can sit around to do what you want to do. Nobody's going to do it for you. You know what I'm saying? So let's get to the cards. What's going on with you this week and beyond? So um, there's really no set date on these reports whenever you get it is when you get it it's and that's when it applies to you okay your all over energy is the ten of cups that may be the 
uh, vicinity or the place where you live, you know, um, a lot of gratitude, a lot of thankfulness is here, a lot of, a lot of ease, okay? I don't know if you live in this neighborhood, if you visit this neighborhood, is it a place that you're going? Is it something that you're thinking about developing, you know? Do you, or do you want to study urban development? Okay, the core energy is the Three of Swords. You have the High Priestess energy. You have the Nine of Wands. And you have the Three of Pentacles. Conflict, contention, and challenge. And your supportive blessed energy will get to momentarily. Your underlying energy is the Hierophant. The Hierophant to me is all about commitment, uh, oaths, promises, uh, Y'all getting your signature, but you know, it's filled, you know, something about filling the blanks. So it's dealing with the applications, things that you have to apply for. If you want it, it comes with rules and regulations, whether it's a job, whether it's a place, whether it's a, a, a leasing agreement, like here in this 10 of cups. For some of you, this could be a leasing agreement. This could be about, then I said something about nuptials. So, and in a spiritual sense, this could be legal documentation. But for those of you, because you know marriages come in different forms and fashions. They don't have to necessarily be a contract, you know. But this could be about what belongs to you within the relationship. What I bring with me, I'm taking with me. You see what I'm saying? Something like that. But I see that you're going to be getting some type of revelation from somebody from behind the scenes. That could mean somebody that's on social media, uh, somebody that works behind the scene that could be at your job, you know. Um, just like I kind of liken it to like the dishwasher person, somebody that washes dishes. You know somebody's back there washing dishes, but you may not see them. You know, somebody behind the curtain. And I also hear that some of you just want to be silent. You want to be behind the scenes. You want to be silent. You don't want to be obvious in the shush mode. You are um, taking it all in. You're in your head. You're in your mind because you're seeking those answers. To get an answer is to free your mind, right? Got something to do with pressure, okay? Pressures, you know. Uh, things, this may bring you to tears, you know, some of you. Uh, there may be aches and body aches and pains this week. I'm also getting some secret writings. I don't know if you're journaling something or uh, it's just like the pressure is on this week. For some of you, this could be about the smoke, okay? Okay, so some of you smoke, but you don't want your children to know that you, you don't like to smoke in front of your children. So I see some of you are going to stay hidden. You're going to stay hidden and stay behind the scenes. You're not going to be so obvious. You're not trying to make your, your presence known, okay? Let's get the reasons for this nine of wands and this three of swords. Because I'm also, it's something about writing these pencils. Like, you're writing out your heart. You're writing out... Uh, freeing yourself from secrets, things you've been holding in. For some of you, it's coming out of a painful experience. You know, some of you, this may have given you PSDT. Um, some of you, it could be making you paranoid. Are you experiencing paranoia? And I 
I'm seeing a lot of self-protection here as well. Even though they've been taking the, the shots and, you know, the coronavirus has kind of uh, lacked in numbers, I see for whatever reason you're still being very cautious and protective. Yeah, for some of you, this is about lover boy, lover man. Mr. Lover Man Shaba. And these things can balance you out. Okay. Yeah, I see some of you waiting on that call from Mr. Lover Man. You know. The go the go getter. This can also be the go-to person. They, they seem to balance you out as well for some reason. I'm getting the same value. It's the same value. So whatever it is, you like to keep it on the low, low. Keep it on the low, low. Maybe because of where you live or who you're living with. Okay. So this is about getting what you need, getting what's necessary for you. Um, I keep getting aches and pains for some reason, but sometimes people keep that kind of stuff to themselves as well. They, they feel like they don't want nobody to, they don't want to worry nobody with their ailments and whatnot. Okay. But I feel like a lot of this got to do with where you live. You have to be really cautious about this connection. I'm also hearing some of you keeping the faith. Okay, you're keeping the faith this week. You know, I, I feel like there is some issues, but it's like you're questioning yourself whether to do it, whether not to do it, whether to go, whether not to go, whether to call, whether not to call, whether to be with this person, not to keep getting nuptials. Okay, you want to keep everything, right? Again, what I come in with, I leave with. 344, look that up. That's your angel number for this week. It's also your planetary alignment. You got double Mars, so that's a lot of energy. A lot of deep thinking, a lot of uh, mental execution here this week. So y'all yeah, see you being low key, keeping a secret, keeping it, to, keeping it to yourself. You don't want you don't want this person to get hurt. You don't want you don't want the, you, don't want the, you don't want no problems. Some of you may feel like you're being bugged, or. You are bugged by something. Something's bugging you or someone is bugging you. Oftentimes, you can get that from the nine of wands. Hopefully, it's not you. You see what I'm saying? So, some of you need your endo smoke so you can free your mind. I get it. You need your endo smoke. You got to keep that on the low, low. You know? You don't want everybody in your bees. So I see also some of you having the pressure of growing and grooming, grooming and growing yourself. Okay. About something that's deeply felt. I feel like for some of you, maybe you're ready to make moves in your career with your ideas. And there may be lots of obstacles, you know. I can't get to this because of this. I can't do this because of this. You know, I got to do all of this first. And, you know, the high priestess keeps her emotions inside. She don't share them unless, until the time is right. Until it's very necessary. Okay. Did I say something about a dishwasher? And here I see this three of pentacles in your outcome. 
some of you, um, I see the cleaners in this. I see a contract in this. Taking something out to the cleaners could also be, uh, metaphorically speaking, taking something out to the cleaners. I've heard that before. So when you're taking something out to the cleaners, for me, it's like getting it suitable for you to wear because you want it to, you because you want to look your best. You want to be your best. But that may not be. What the idiom really stands for. Taking something out to the cleaners meaning. According to Miriam Webster, to deprive of a large amount of money or possessions. Oh. To deprive someone of a large amount of money or possessions that go that hoarding. And we talked about those nuptials. Wow. Why are you depriving them? Now, I know it's income tax time. People start acting uppity because <laughs> they got a little money in their pocket. But you better be thinking about this stock market. And whether to stow away some money for uh, later in life. And some of you may be doing that here. It could be this contract that you're having. You know, some of you who um, are just getting started, you can start with some of the smaller companies. You know, like Acorns, like uh, Robin Hood. Uh, what's the other ones I can't think of right now? But it's, it's a great way to get started until your money grows when you can start, you know, running with the big dogs like Motley Crue. Is it called Motley Crue or something like that? Yeah. And I see you have the energy to pour your heart off into something like this. You know, whatever these studies are, whatever this focus is. You know, whatever it is, but commitment is involved. You don't have to do it. You know, it's voluntary. Voluntary love. You know, a voluntary commitment. A vol you know, you maybe it is really voluntary, but like voluntary, a voluntary job. But this comes with rules and regulations nonetheless. You got to be here at a certain time. You know, you got these responsibilities, these duties as a wife, these duties as a husband, you know, which I kind of see right here. Okay. This feels new. And that's your word, new. New. An agreement to acquiesce. To acquiesce, to give in to something, you know. Let's sum it up. Oh, no, before I do, let's see what the conflict challenge or contention is the Ten of Cups, the same thing. Can I see that some of you, you, you got a nice place, nice uh, arrangement here, but you want something better? You know, you want something better? You want a little bit more than what you have? Okay, again, for some of you all, the contention is who you connected with. It's something you want to keep on the low low, you know. Maybe whatever it is, it's taboo. The smoke. Contention here. Like some of you are in a nice place, but you feel like you can't really grow the way you want to. You know, I see the marshmallow, the, the marshmallow puff creams you're in, but you really want the rainbows, you know. You want the promise. There's something about a promise here. And this obligation, something about the, a promise. I'm hearing something about pulling a string or pull the strings. Um, oh, 
But uh, your supportive, blessed energy is your girls, your friends, your siblings, you know, some kick it time, some release time, okay? And I'm also hearing something pops off, okay? But it's good. So I told you this connection, this person has somebody in their life, but it's... I think that y'all have like this, um, this, um, attraction to each other. But they, but, but, but they have somebody in their life, although there is an attraction here, but it's going to be your supportive, blessed energy this week. Oh, whenever this applies, whenever you get it which would be the week that you receive it, right? To be or not to be. Let's, let's, either you're going to be on time or you're not. Either we're going to be together or we're not. Either you're going to be the student or you're not. I mean, I don't know. Oh, look at here. You got the mouse. Yeah, that's the low, low. Shh. Quiet as a mouse. I don't know. <laughs> Are you living with somebody? Cause somebody's falling deep. Gotta free your mind. Y'all need to look up those lyrics. Those are good lyrics. Okay. Let's get you a karma card. Let's see what's going on with your karma right now. Karma cards for devil advocates and gemstones. Please source. What is the karma? How can they get good karma? What do they need to do? How to get this karma? What do they need to do? Ooh, do a walk or run for a cause. So I know a lot of those come up around March and April and May. Do a walk or a run for a cause, okay? They got cancer walks, you know what I'm saying? And runs and different things. Muscular dystrophy. You may know somebody. Usually people are moved to do things either when they're affected or someone they love is affected. You know, or maybe someone passed from something. Do a walk or a run for a cause. That will bring you some good karma. Okay, do something really good for, for yourself. Like, you know, um, that's the exercise. You know what I'm saying? Keep it quiet. Shh. Okay. You or them, this person that's in the cut. <laughs> That you'd be connecting with, calling in secret. You better, because somebody got a, got a mate. I come looking for you. Let's see what your spiritual vibe written word message is. Oh, if it ain't making money, it ain't making sense. Okay? Uh -huh. That's why uh, they weighing the value of that. You see what I'm saying? Weighing them like, is this... Is this you know, is it worth my money? Is it equal? Am I getting my money's worth? Am I getting my money's worth? Whatever that is. Okay. Whatever that is. Could be about the bag. You know what I'm saying? Let's get you an angel message. Angel message. Angel message. Not that many. Angel message, please. And yeah, a lot of you are going to take a, a temporary job or going to fulfill a contract. You may be considered a contractor on this job, but this is a gig because you're under a lot of pressure. Could be about them bills and stuff that she was saying. You got to get that stuff off your mind. Because this is like a bounce between work and, and school. I can see why you need to blow a blunt. All of this stress. Okay. Let's go on and see what's going on. Angel message. Angel message. Your angel message for this week is the angel of surrender. We talk about acquiescing, right? Um, I surrender joyfully to God's love in my heart. Okay. Just remember, if God is obstructing you, it's for a reason. You being obstructed is for a reason. 
We always find out later on. Okay. When we surrender to our soul's guidance, we realize the greater picture of our lives. We also become aware of the help we receive to be free from burdens of the past or from negative energies that prevent us from seeing our inner strength and beauty. And maybe this is part of the problem. You know, the end of smoke is probably a stressor right now. Maybe you need to let it go. Maybe this, this connection with this lover, this lover man, this masculine, it could be a girl too, just, but it's this, this lover boy, this lover man, okay? Because there is somebody else in the picture that you need to be wary of. Um, when we consciously, consciously surrender to the soul within, we can easily forego all else with simplicity and whenever necessary. Okay, that's, that's all sinks in to me. Let me go back and read this. We also become aware of the help we receive to be free from our burdens of the past or from negative energies that prevent us from seeing our inner strength and beauty. When we consciously surrender to the soul within, we can easily forego all else with simplicity and whenever necessary. You know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Free your mind because you're falling deep for this person, maybe a habit, maybe you're falling deep in, I don't know, into everyday life and you realize you got to do something else. Because you definitely want to improve. But one of the things that will really help you is letting go of stuff, holding on to everything, mentally, emotionally, whatever it is, and materially. You let that stuff go. Share. You need to share. Okay. Affirmation for this week. Affirmation. Okay. Today I am brave. Today I will step up to every challenge with courage. And I think you're going to need it. And I'm going to leave it here. Devil Advocates and Gemstones, thank you so much for tuning in to So Special. Because you are so special. And I cannot wait to bring you another one. Thank you so much for your commitment and all of the support that you've given me during this time. Okay? I will always make sure that you're going to be ready. Okay? And a happy new year. Until next time. Peace.